welcome back to my channel welcome back this is your girl mrs jbj what is happening what is going on welcome welcome again if you're new let's wait i need you to go ahead and subscribe i know i need you to go ahead and like and i need you to go ahead and share and of course, leave a comment. If you love my content, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I know you're watching. Just comment. If you think it's great, you got some show idea, comment. Leave a comment. Okay, let's get right into it. We are talking about Married to Medicine, episode 11. Yes, I know I skipped some episodes. But going forward, like reality tv is my favorite but i need you guys to step up you're getting real comfortable and you gotta remember people are watching and consuming content in so many different ways like if you guys don't step up this whole genre which my husband probably would be excited about it because he do not like reality TV. There's so many people that don't like reality TV, but I absolutely love it. I love the drama of it. I love the dramatics of it, even the craziness. I love it. I love it. I don't want it to go away, but you guys got to step up. You got to step up. Oh my God. I know y'all need these checks. I know y'all need these jobs. So I need y'all to step up. I'm not going to be able to spend time out of my day because you know what? I'm that girl that works that nine to five to stay alive. So I'm always working, but I love reality TV and I love my YouTube channel and I love doing recaps, but I can only give my time and effort to episodes that really entertain me. If you're not entertaining me, I'm not giving you an episode. So I am back to merit to medicine because I'm not going to lie. When Kwai left, one, I didn't like her exit. Check out my video. Check, I just released that video. I know I'm behind, but I did release a video with Quad exit. I did not like it. She did not deserve that. Um, and Dr. Heavenly is convinced that Bravo is going to bring Quad back. I'm so confused. Why embarrass her? Why do all of that and then bring her back? Who knows? But that's what Dr. Heavenly said. So we'll see. Shout out to Dr. Heavenly. Um... I watched Dr. Heavenly live, her and Carlos. Girl, I don't think you need Carlos, but we'll we, we'll let you have him. Um, but I've been watching Dr. Heavenly lives on her channel forever because my girl do not watch the episode. So she always spilling tea that she shouldn't be spilling. Um, so I do watch her. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And she gave me a shout out this week. She, um, I did a comment about Cecil. We'll get into that later. And she left my whole comment as her thumbnail. Um, Black Entertainment with Miss JBJ. Thank you, Dr. Heavenly, for that shout out. So, yeah, y'all go check her out. She be on every Monday. She's more consistent than me. So every Monday at the Marriage to Medicine, y'all better believe that y'all can watch Dr. Heavenly recapping Marriage to Medicine. It's so dope. Dr. Heavenly, you need to have me on there as a guest because, girl, I need to keep you to these episodes because you be spilling the tea. I love it. But I need you to keep up with these episodes because she don't watch the episodes, y'all. I'm telling you she don't. But let's get right into it. I'm back. Um, I came back to Merit to Medicine. Yes, after Quad left, I felt like it was dragging, you know, the same old boring stuff with Simone and Cecil getting their kids their own condo. Um, what else happened? Eugene, oh God, Eugene and Toya um trying to I do like it, but I don't. I mean, it's a real conversation. You know, she's just having some real conversation with her husband. Um, They've been married for a really long time. You know, Toy is the turn up queen. I love a good turn up queen, honey. And Dr. Eugene is more laid back, but he loved the mess too. And he has admitted that he loves the mess. Um, But they just talk about, well, she just talk about, 
you know, really wanting to be in love with her husband, be intimate with her husband, them having a genuine connection and, you know, really working on their relationship. I do love that, but it's kind of boring, but I get it. It's important. It is married to medicine and I love black love. So I ain't mad at it, you know, but I just didn't do the episodes because I was just like, okay. And then Toya, you know, we got to love to hate Toya. You know, I possibly couldn't get away with talking to my husband like that. He would not put up with, with a second. But I love Dr. Eugene. He has such a kind and messy heart. Because Dr. Eugene loves gossip and he loves the shade. And I ain't mad at him. Um, But his wife, Toya, is a hot mess. But I think he can handle her. So, yeah. So they talk about their relationship woes. And them getting back on track. That is some real conversation. That's things we all, me too. I, I I have to work on my relationship too. Me and my husband have to connect too. You know, every anniversary, every year you together, you got to work on it. You know, it's, it's called a marriage. It's called a friendship. It's called a relationship. So, you know, I get it. Um, And then, of course, you got to talk about Dr. G and Sweet Tea. Um. That's kind of hard for me because I felt like I didn't like that. Well, who am I to tell Sweet Tea what to do? But I, I uh, oh, should I say it or not say? Sweet Tea just got married, right? But she already in baby mode. She was in baby mode before she got married. And now she having some fertility issues and her journey to pregnancy is not going to be as easy as she assumed. But this is where I don't want to say too much because that's why her and Dr. Heavenly all them fussing all the time because they really think that she already knew that she had fertility issues before she married Dr. G. But then it's you. Oh, God. Because... Well, she did do that. She did send him a baby emoji. Like, this is my intentions. I'm letting him know, hey, I, I can be your baby mama. I can be the mother of your kids. That was her intentions, and it's out there. Um, And even on episode one, they bragged about her doing that. And so some of the ladies think that Sweet Tea already knew she had those issues before she married Dr. G. Oh, it's such a tough conversation because sometimes people look at people having kids like, oh, that's so easy and that's a choice. It's not. It's it's God given, right? Um, God is the only one who can give us life. And he can also take life away. So it's hard for me to judge her on that um girl just enjoy your marriage enjoy dr g get to know each other um i always said i thought that they should just focus on their relationship but they let us know no we want a baby we want a baby now so to see her go through all of this and have those tough conversations with dr g about her fertility issues it's a tough one. Um, and then for the ladies, well, not ladies, Dr. Heavily. Um, for Dr. Heavily and them to, well, not them, Dr. Heavily to insinuate, like, she already knew she couldn't have no kids. But she already, that's, uh, it's, y'all, I don't know. But that was the last couple episodes. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to do a recap on that. But then, um, this episode um gave me a little more hope um because it's about Dr. Jackie and Curtis which I have always felt like something was off with them. I felt like something with their relationship was off um when Dr. G had his bachelor party and the way that him and Curtis was at especially Curtis all over them strippers all over them dancers at Dr. G bachelor party. I was like, mm, I don't know if Dr. Jack is going to be happy when she see this. She ain't going to be happy at all. Um, So I felt some type of way about that. Like that Dr. Heavenly take every opportunity in Merit to Medicine to build her business and Dr. Damon's business. Um, It is Merit to Medicine. So 
so Dr. Damon and Dr. Heavenly, well, it really is Dr. Damon event. He have a medical mixer where he brings in like a networking um, mixer for all the physicians in Atlanta to network, get together. Um, and Dr. Heavenly, I need you to stay away from Phaedra <laughs> stylist. I don't know if Phaedra style her or her stylist, but Dr. Heavenly, I need you to stay far far away so dr heavenly shows up at dr Taman mixer looking like phaedra jr blonde hair booty out oh uh, yeah dr heavenly less is more for you less is more but it's so funny because every time that dr heavenly showed up on the scene everybody was like dr heavenly did phaedra dress you phaedra had Dr. Heavenly looking just like her, y'all. It was hilarious. But you know what? You know, Dr. Heavenly going to do her thing. You know, the camera was on. It was like camera action and she was ready for it. So I'm not mad at that at all. But it was a little too much. And Phaedra, uh, you know, I always said Phaedra looked like a little pinup doll. So that's what Dr. Heavenly was giving at Dr. Taman Mixer. But, you know, Dr. Damon loved him some Dr. Heavenly, honey. So he thought she was fly. They thought they were fly. So we think they fly. Okay. I love Dr. Heavenly. I'm not saying anything bad about her. Um, I'm going to talk shit about Dr. Heavenly because she can take it. Um, So they all hanging out. Everyone shows up. Like I said, it is a networking event for all the physicians in Atlanta and the surrounding areas. Um, so Dr. Jackie was there, Dr. Simone, the husband was there. Um, was Eugene there? I know Toya, um, all the ladies, Sweet Tea, Dr. G, all of them are there. And of course, um, I do like that the ladies like Phaedra. I personally thought that the way that Phaedra, I would have thought that Phaedra would be okay on Married to Medicine but I honestly did not like the way that she treated Quad did not like that can't wait to watch the reunion see how Quad get in her ass about it um but I'm kind of over that we gotta move on she is on the show um but since Married to Medicine has lied to us about Phaedra dating a doctor of course everybody was trying to hook her up at this mixer so dr heavenly was trying to introduce her to all these doctors then i saw dr g like hey y'all gotta meet my girl phaedra so phaedra was like everybody was like you know entertaining phaedra trying to hook her up trying to find her a doctor because she ain't dating one and she don't have a wellness center so everything i was saying in the beginning when people were like girl you just hating on phaedra she really wasn't about that married medicine life um so now they're trying to backtrack and hook her up so they were doing that the whole event and phaedra you know phaedra do have a tight like dr heavenly said you know they was trying to introduce her to guys like age appropriate she wasn't feeling that she was going to like the men that look like apollo she got a type i ain't mad at it you got a type you got a type so she got a type but she was definitely loving it you know she wasn't against it she was loving it but phaedra was like girl i gotta keep my spot on this show give me a husband give me a doctor I need a doctor to stay on this show. So that's what they were doing. Um, and then Dr. Simone decides that, hey, this is, will be the perfect time for us to take a couple's trip. And like I said, that's why it's so important that Phaedra date somebody because marriage medicine, they're going to always show up as a couple in most of their events all their they don't have like girl trips they well do they they do like the little small event that toya did but majority of their cash trips are with the couples usually so um so dr simone was saying hey we're celebrating 10 years of our relationship our show so let's get a good old cash trip so she announced that they are all having a couple cash trip and they're going to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Ooh, girl, nobody want to go no Hilton Head. I love Hilton Head, but, you know, I'm used to them going to like Aruba, Africa, um, Spain, somewhere. So when they be talking about, I think before they went to what, St. Simon or Jaco Island, I ain't mad at that, y'all. I'm from Jessup, Georgia. It's like 30 minutes from St. Simon's. 
and Jacob Allen. So I was loving that episode, every bit of it. Because, honey, if you are from Southeast Georgia, you know we don't play about St. Simons and Jacob Allen. So I'm not saying anything, or Hilton Head, not saying anything. One of my favorite spots ever, always. But I'm just saying they usually go on bigger trips. But this is the kicker. So I'm like, okay, they going to Hilton Head. Okay, they went to St. Simon's last year. Jaco's not a big deal. But did not realize that Hilton Head was the place that Curtis cheated and took his side chick to Hilton Head. Had no idea. Knew about Curtis and his side chicks, but didn't realize that he actually took this girl to Hilton Head. So when Dr. Simone announced that they were going to Hilton Head, everybody get quiet. Dr. Jackie gives Dr. Simone the ugliest look. And then my girl, Dr. Heavenly, steps in and let us know what's the real tea. So Dr. Heavenly was like, okay, Hilton Head for what? You know Dr. Jackie ain't going no Hilton Head. That's when her situation went down. And Dr. Simone was like, what? Like, girl, you know that Curtis was cheating on Dr. Jackie and taking his side chick to Hilton Head. You know that. And Dr. Simone was like, what? No, I had no intentions. Why would I do that? Come on, Dr. Simone. Now, I can give Dr. Simone a little grace here because I'm pretty sure nobody knows, even their friends. You don't know where, you know, your friend husband took the side chick. Nobody don't know that stuff. I mean, come on. And she older. Nobody knows those details like that unless it was fresh. I mean, that happened years ago. It's a possibility that she didn't know. But y'all just can't make me believe that once they said it and Cecil you know Cecil knew Cecil be knowing more than Dr. Simone because he has time she don't have time she's she's a busy woman she working Cecil is retired and kicking it I know that he probably was like Hilton Head huh and if she didn't know it when they announced it I'm pretty sure that she figured it out later but no, nope, she decided, no, nope, we're going to Hilton Head. So I think that's why Dr. Heavenly was so passionate. Like, no, you may not knew in the beginning, but eventually you knew something was up. So Dr. Jack was like, you know what? No, I'm not feeling Hilton Head. More than likely, I, I won't go. And Dr. Heavenly got on Simone's ass. But at the end of the day, guess what? Dr. Simone was like, nope, I'm not changing my mind. This is where we're going. Um, I would love for you to come, Dr. Jackie. I would love for you to come, Jackie and Curtis. But that's where we're going. So, of course, all this tension is building up because, oh, my God, we are going to Hilton Head. This is when all the shit with Curtis and his side chick went down. And now what is Dr. Jackie going to do? I like it. And that's why I decided to do this recap because I know something is going on in their relationship. and. The producers of Married to Medicine probably felt the same way as a viewer and was like, we just need to deep dive and just make sure y'all really okay. So let's just stir the pot just a little bit to make sure you guys are really okay. So Dr. Jack was like, okay, I'm going to be fair about it. I'm not going to be a party pooper. Let me discuss it with Curtis. So the next day, Dr. Jackie goes to Curtis and was like, hey, Curtis, what's going on? Curtis. Now, Curtis been not around the whole season. Oh, that Curtis retired like his basketball career stuff. But what I do know, he's always in the DR. So, of course, Dr. Jackie is talking to Curtis and was like, hey, you know what? We are doing another couple's trip and this is the date. So he let her know, like, nah, you should have gave me a heads up. I'm, I really got plans in the DR. But I'm like, if y'all in a marriage and it's not like you coming home every day, you're going weeks at a time and she don't know your schedule and you being in the DR. Y'all, what relationship that happens at? That your man can just go weeks at a time and you have no idea his schedule. 
Where they do that at? What couples do that? But anyway, she was like, oh, well, I didn't realize that you had to go back to DR. And here, I'm going to be in the DR. And then she was like, well, I think you should make time. I think you should really reconsider it um, because we're going to this couple trip. But I have something to tell you. Um, yeah. And by the way, this couple trip is going to be in Hilton Head, South Carolina. So immediately, Curtis is like, why out of all places, why the heck Hilton Head? Like what, what, what they up to? Out of all the places y'all want to go to Hilton Head, what are they up to? Dr. Jacket was like, no, um, Simone put this trip together. Um, we are evolved. We are in a better place. We are healing. You know, that's our past life. This has nothing to do with the now. I think we'll be fine. He was like, nah, I'm not feeling that. I'm not going there. And again, out of all the places, why did they choose Hilton Head? And she's like, well, Curtis, you know, we're in the better position. We're, you know, trying to let him know. Remember, we're in a better position. We're we're past that, right? And he was like, well, okay. He ain't feeling it. So, <laughs> But at the end of the day, Curtis not feeling it. He knows they're going to bring it up. He was like, so you really want me to go to Hilton Head with these ladies on a reality show and letting me know we're going to be fine. Nobody's going to bring it out. Like, who are you kidding? Okay. So if you don't want to go, then I won't go. So right now, Curtis is not feeling it at all. So Phaedra finally has a moment on Merit to Medicine. I think it's a moment because we really haven't been seeing her. Um, we haven't seen her go on no dates with no doctor. We haven't seen her at her wellness center. Everything Phaedra does is in a group setting. So this is the first time we get to see like them focus on Phaedra. Phaedra throwing Aiden, I think his 13th birthday party. So everybody is impressed with her party. But I'm like, y'all don't watch the housewives. Like, that's who Phaedra Parks is. Phaedra been doing that for Aiden since he came out the womb. Phaedra, everything Phaedra does is over the top. So I don't know why they were surprised about his elaborate birthday party. Boys are so handsome. They're so mild-mannered, so laid back. Um, yeah, Phaedra got those boys together. You hear me? And Apollo, because I heard that, you know, he's in their lives. They all have a great relationship. And Aiden is like, like I said, we've been seeing Aiden since he was a baby. So to see him at 13, um, Afro Fade is just so cute. Uh, a real sweet moment between Phaedra and Aiden. It was a tearjerker, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It was very sweet. It was, he was very humble with it. He was very grateful. Um, you know, it was just a beautiful moment. Beautiful, beautiful moment. Y'all got to watch it. I can't explain it. It was so sweet, y'all. I ain't going to lie. It's the sweetest thing I've seen in a really long time. And for him to be 13 year old, you know, these kids different these days. So for him to just see that genuine, grateful, humble, like, I love my mom. I know my mom does a lot for me. I know she sacrificed a lot for me. Like, for your kids to know that, it's, it was it was a pretty cool moment. It, it kind of like, okay, Phaedra, I can deal with you. I can deal with you a little longer because of Aiden. I'll give you a pass. So Dr. Hamlin cannot let this Hilton Head trip go. She just can't do it. So she was like looking at Dr. Simone like, we got to talk and we got to talk now. So she pulls Dr. Simone over at Aiden's birthday party and was like, Simone, you have to change the trip. We cannot go to Hilton Head. You can do this. I don't understand why you don't want to do it. Simone's like, nope, I'm not changing the trip. I love Jackie. I love Curtis, but we're going to Hilton Head and I'm not changing it. I had no malice. I was not being mean spirited. I really didn't have no idea or intentionally try to set them up or do any of that. 
Hilton Head came up. Me and Cecil made plans to go to Hilton Head. Everything is already in place. And we're not changing the trip. Dr. Heavenly to the rescue. So Dr. Heavenly is fighting Dr. Jackie's battle. And the reason why I say that, because Dr. Jackie is at the party, enjoying the party. And I just don't understand why Dr. Jackie didn't initiate this conversation with Dr. Simone. Why Dr. Heavenly is doing it. So Dr. Heavenly is still coming at Simone. Simone's like, nope, not changing my mind. Toya peeps it. Toya is like, Dr. Heavenly, why are you going so hard? Dr. Jackie is here. She ain't saying nothing to Dr. Simone. She can fight her own battles. Why you need to be fighting her battles? If she don't want to go to Hilton Head, why she's not telling Dr. Simone that? So Dr. Jackie finally shows up. And then Dr. Heavenly was like, I'm trying to convince Simone to change her trip because you and Kurt is not going no Hilton Head and it's going to set back y'all relationship. And Dr. Jackie was like, didn't say nothing. <laughs> really, now she just there. So Simone looks at Dr. Jackie and was like, hey, so are you not going to Hilton Head? I thought that you guys said that it would be fine. So Dr. Jackie finally says, no, Curtis don't want to go to Hilton Head. And if he don't want to go, then I'm not going to go because it's a couple trip and he feels some type of way. And she was like, what do you mean? You don't trust me. You think that I would do anything to hurt your marriage? She's like, you won't, but Toya will. And I think that people just know, I knowing." And I think that people knowing our situation, they're going to bring up conversations about it. And Curtis don't want to deal with it. And then she's like, well, I have, I'm sorry you feel that way, Jackie. But we still going to heal ahead. And so Dr. Jackie was like, you know what? Well, Curtis don't want to go more than likely. I'm not going to go on this trip. And Dr. Heavenly was like, I told you. I told you she wasn't going to go. I told you they didn't want to go to no Hilton Head. And Dr. Simone, like, really upset with Dr. Heavenly was like, you got to stop. Like, you got to stop. And, and then Dr. Simone is looking at Dr. Jackie like, get your bulldog because I'm going to hurt her ass. So you better get her. So at the end of the day, Dr. Simone is not changing the trip. She was like, nope. Me and Cece already made plans. We love Hilton Head. We going to Hilton Head. So, yeah, so I don't know how I feel about this because, like I said, at the end of the day, you, Dr. Simone, she may not have known that in the beginning, but once she found, found out about Hilton Head, she should have changed the trip 100% because Dr. Jackie would have did that for her. Dr. Jackie would have did that for her. Now, Dr. Heavenly wouldn't, but Dr. Jackie would have did that for Dr. Simone. And I do think it's kind of selfish for Dr. Simone, but it's a reality show. And something is going on with Dr. Jackie and Curtis' relationship. Now, they say they in a great place, and they say they together, but Dr. Jackie didn't even know Curtis' schedule for going to the DR. So that means like he up, go to the DR, gone missing for weeks at a time, and she don't even know. Where do they do that in a real marriage? Ladies, that's married or in a committed relationship. Can your husband or can your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, can they leave for two to three weeks and you don't know their schedule? Nobody does that in real life. That's not real life. That's not a real relationship. I don't care what y'all say. Something is going on, and those producers are using Dr. Simone to get to the T. So in these episodes, yes, I have already watched the next episode. It is juicy. It is juicy because Sweet T is coming at Dr. Jackie, making her accountable. That's right, Sweet T. They can sit around and talk shit about you and Dr. G. And now it's their turn and they can't take it. So that's what's coming up on the next episode. And I am already ready to deliver it to you guys. So hold tight. So that was episode 11 of Merit to Medicine. What do I think about Merit to Medicine?
Um, I really did tap out on episode six to eleven because when I saw them like stirring the pot with what's going on with Dr. Jackie and Curtis, I'm here for it because I think we as viewers and the way that they have positioned these episodes, something is clearly going on. Nobody in no real relationship can just leave for weeks at a time and you don't know they schedule. I just don't believe that. And the way that Curtis was acting at that um, bachelor party on all them dancers like that, like, who does that? And his wife is not going to say nothing. So, yeah, I'm here for it. And the next episode is even better. So, that was Married to Medicine. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to my channel. I appreciate you. So go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like and go ahead and share. And guess what, guys? I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.